Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. I'm in process of installing the timing belt components on this 1999 Subaru Forester. I would like to point it out something extremely important in this case. And in this job one of the main concerns is this hydraulic tensioner which is part of that entire timing belt assembly. There was actually issued a technical service bulletin for this tensioner but that one is about this fret which is holding right in the engine about the special torque procedures right and making sure this will not get loose and that's a technical service bulletin but I would like to talk about something else you will think you bought this new part, right? It's part of the kit or you bought it separately, doesn't matter. It has this pin and it's ready to be installed. Well, regarding the manufacturer, that's completely wrong. And that is actually completing air bleeding procedure, right? Supplied with this and they say if you don't do it, if you just install it, you are risking the engine damage. Of course, there will be no warranty for this and so on and so on. So what I will be doing right now, I have to put it in the C-clamp, right? Put very little pressure on that pin. I will remove that securing pin and very slowly release it, start loosening it, that that hydraulic pin can go up all the way. Now they are saying it has to be so slow that that whole movement, which is not very much, must be not shorter than one minute. Now you think, oh, I have my vice on the table, right? So I will use the vice. I will not bother with the C-clamp and I will just put it in the vice this way, right? and release it, let it go and then push it back. Well, that's a huge mistake because we know it doesn't matter if it's this Subaru, right? Or if it's Toyota, I'm Toyota certified. When you are pressing these hydraulic tensioners, they always have to be in vertical position. They cannot be in horizontal in this way. It always has to stay this way that the air can bleed out the correctly on the inside. Otherwise, this whole procedure is for nothing. Here you can see the one from Toyota engine, right? That's a 5EZ FE V6 engine, right? I kept it, I didn't throw it away. If I want to push it back in and install this pin, I'm not going to do it in this direction. I will really very, very, very slowly press it in this position and I just wanted to point it out that for you because I cannot even count how many times or how many videos on YouTube I saw when people are pressing it this way and they are teaching others how to do it here you can see it I clamped it right I tiny bit pushed on it removed that pin and now I'm very, very slowly, needs to be over that one minute, stay set, very slowly, I'm letting that pin come out of the tensioner, right, really taking time, and then I will be pushing it back, lining that pin, and it will be ready to be installed. And just to give you idea how much that pin goes out, right? You can see it, what is it? Four millimeters, five max. And that whole movement has to take more than one minute. So we, all of us, we keep learning, right? Every day, nobody knew it from beginning. And that's why I'm making this video. People can learn from it and perform these procedures correctly. Thank you for watching. Be subscribed. And I will catch you in the next video. See ya.